The project looks at the experience of young black men who have been involved with the criminal justice system. In particular, it looks at their exposure to education and information on social enterprise and what social entrepreneurship opportunities might mean to them. Hi, I'm Amara, and my background is in gender, racial and reproductive justice. I've spent a long time working with young people, and most of my career has been in supporting the Black, South Asian and Muslim communities I belong to, many of whom are severely harmed by the criminal justice system. This project aligned with a lot of my interests and adopted a hopeful, solution-focused approach that I try to embed in my work. Hi, my name is Naomi Robinson and my background is in technology consulting, mainly focusing on designing digital products and services that are accessible for the end user. I have always been involved in social impact projects that have focused on how young people can access employment. This links to tenure that I've had as a board member for the Youth Future Foundation. The research project naturally links to my interest of looking into how young men with a background in the criminal justice can find employability through social entrepreneurship. Hi, I'm Sharon and my career and educational background is in criminal justice and education. In 2011, I started working in a London prison. This was just after the Tottenham uprising, which triggered a huge influx of young black men into the justice system. At this point I realised I wanted my work to focus on the ways that we can support our community within our community, away from the courts and the prison system. It's never easy asking someone how they've had to start their lives again after being in prison. It was even harder hearing how their absence has negatively impacted their careers, family, social and personal well-being. But what I liked about our project is that we were providing a safe and empowering space for men to tell us how social entrepreneurship opportunities could relieve some of these stresses. It was refreshing to hear the excitement in their voices about the ways that they can bring their business ideas to life, also while being able to support fellow ex-prison residents to turn their lives around too. Our research showed a clear need and desire for more accessible education on social enterprise, both inside and outside of prison. We found that education on the topic was almost non-existent in prison, as most participants had not heard of it, but that it was something they were interested in and keen to get involved in. Our team was chosen as the recipients of the Jane Hatfield Award, which is an annual grant for young researchers to investigate issues or topics related to community, social action, and or social justice. It was launched this year by the Institute of Voluntary Action Research, IVA, in partnership with the UBELE Initiative. Their organisations are passionate about supporting the next generation of researchers and activists, with a focus on young researchers from black and minoritised communities. The award is named in memory and celebration of Jane Hatfield, trustee and then chair of IVAR between 2006 to 2021. It's been a great pleasure meeting our participants, working with the team and receiving the great support from Ivar and Ubele. Moving forward, I hope we can continue transcending the message that the men have been telling us, which is social entrepreneurship opportunities can work for them. Our participants made it clear that they have the desire to positively contribute to their communities, both socially and economically. We just want to do our bit in connecting them to the people that can make this happen for them. Ultimately, we hope that this project does push for more support and investment in social enterprise and demonstrates how social enterprise benefits individuals, communities and society as a whole. We also hope it challenges a lot of the harmful narratives that exist about people with experience of the criminal justice system, especially those from racially minoritised backgrounds. To celebrate the release of our report and rally together our course to action, we are hosting an online event to discuss our research processes and findings in more detail, as well as speak about where we would like to see this project going and how you might be able to support. In the meantime, don't forget to read our report and contact us via email if you would like to discuss this one-to-one. -one.